Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tarot. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Who is balls deep in love with you? This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different albums to choose from. Album one, option one, The Cure, Disintegration. Album two, option two, Nirvana, Bleach. Album three, option three, The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood, Sugar, Sex, Magic. Option four, album four, The Yeah, Yeah, Yes, Fever to Tell. As always, timestamps will be provided. Go ahead and make your selection. If you chose option one, the cure, disintegration, here is your reading. Starting with the pulp, tarot. Who is balls deep in love with you? It could be that no one is currently balls deep in love with you. If that's the case, the cards will tell the story. Uno mas. The Ace of Pentacles, Aste Oros, Two of Wands, Those de Bastos. Strength, Leo. I'm drinking coffee from one of my Red Bubble mugs. I have over 2,400 designs uploaded to Red Bubble. The link is provided in each and every description box. You can get mugs, clocks, leggings, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, greeting cards, wall art, etc. Shower curtains. Okay, Cosmic Tarot. And really, when I'm doing a reading like this, I would expect to see at least one signifier. Sace to Oros, Six of Pentacles, Sace to Bostos, Six of Wands. Huh, strength again, I cannot make this shit up. I'll butcher it. La Fuerza. I can't really say that, but La Fuerza, Strength, Leo. No signifier so far. Seven of Diamonds, Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros. Call that the sex card. Eight of Clubs, Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. Oh, here, the last card, a signifier. There you go. The Jack of Clubs, the Knight of Wands, Caballo de Bastos. However, although we do have a signifier, I would say that this person is not currently balls deep in love with you. We don't have any cups. I would say this person, the Knight of Wands, <clears throat> is enjoying you sexually if you haven't had sex, it could be a co-worker who's just really sexually attracted to you. I'm getting strong co-worker vibes because that first row is all earth. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who likes you. They respect you, but they're not currently in love with you. Just going by these cards. Um, they're really into you sexually. But they also respect you. Yeah, in the middle row is all fire. Two of wands, six of wands, eight of wands. The song I'm hearing, as sleazy as it may be, is sex type thing. The Stone Temple Pilots. And then the last row is all fire. Strength twice and the Knight of Wands cannot make this shit up. That's why I shuffle on camera. 
As I often say, fire and earth is the lustiest combination. So there's a lot of lust here. You and this person could be sexting. You could be having sex. But I'm not seeing deep feelings at this time. A possible astro combo for this person. They could have Sun and Leo, Aries, Rising, Moon, and Taurus. That's one possibility of many. But this person has an extremely strong, healthy libido. Um, <clears throat> and for this sexual interest to be so pronounced, to be so strong, I would say it's very possible you and this person have Mars conjunct Venus. You could have Mars conjunct Venus in Aries or Leo. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Not balls deep in love with you, but they really enjoy the sex. That is what I see for Pile 1. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose option two, Nirvana, Bleach, here is your reading. As I said for pile one, it could be that no one is currently balls deep in love with you. The cards will let us know exactly what is up. When I'm doing a reading like this, obviously, big emphasis well, that pretty much goes for any of my readings, but big, maybe bigger than usual emphasis on entertainment purposes, grain of salt, all of that. Reading for a global audience. Just have fun with it. Two of Pentacles, Dos de Oros, the Emperor, Big King, Daddy. Two of Swords, Dos they spot us. Two is the number of cancer. <clears throat> One of my many red bubble mugs. I have over 2,400 designs uploaded to red bubble. The link is in every box. You can get my designs on mugs, shower curtains, clocks, leggings, backpacks, duffel bags. Wall art, stickers, greeting cards, etc. Okay, the Cosmic Tarot. Nomas. La Sacerdotisa, the High Priestess. So strong Cancer energy. <clears throat> Oste Oros, Ace of Pentacles. Princess of the Oros, Princess of Pentacles. Wow, this is similar to Pile 1. That happened in the last Picket card where Piles 1 and 2 were basically interchangeable. Nine of Spades, Nine of Swords, Nine of Eight. Spadas, Eight of Hearts, Eight of Cups, Ocho of Day, Copas, and the Blazing Sword of Truth. Ace of Spades, Ace of Swords, Asta Espadas. No one is currently balls deep in love with you. But you may have just started talking to someone who has extremely masculine energy. This person you just started talking to because we have the two Aces. They could have Sun and Aries, Scorpio rising, Moon and Aquarius. Of course, that's one possibility of many. But who is this person, this person you just started talking to? This person is extremely driven. As I said, extremely masculine, regardless of gender. They know who they are. They know what they want. Very purposeful, very ambitious very cut to the chase. There's no fluff. There's no bullshit with this person. 
um, they're not passive aggressive. They're assertive. They will let you know what is up. They can be very blunt in their communication, quite terse in their delivery. So they're all business. They could have a really demanding career or they could have a job, a main job, and a couple of side hustles. They're always working. Um, you compliment this person because your energy is quite feminine. You could have Sun and Cancer, Virgo rising, Moon and Scorpio. They think that you're beautiful. They think that you're mysterious and fascinating. You're unlike anyone they've ever known, but they don't really know you yet. The impression they have of you is good. They like what they've seen so far. Maybe you've met on social media, but I feel like the communication has been pretty minimal so far. This person's aware of you. You're on this person's radar. They don't know you well enough to be balls deep in love with you at this time. K, C. K name, a C name. As I say, I don't go too deep into the names. I don't do tiles. I don't do Scrabble and all of that. I keep my readings pretty bare's bone. If names pop out, they pop out. I just go with it. Casey, Kevin, Kyle, Kirk, Kurt, Curtis, O'Connor, Klein. Yeah. This person is maniacal with their daily habits and routines. They could be a raw vegan or just a basic bitch vegan. Um, they're careful with what they eat. They could live in the gym. They look good. Uh, they take very good care of themselves. And you could eat off the floors in their house or their apartment. They are very neat, very clean. Yeah, that's what I see for pile two. I hope that helps. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose album three, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Here is your reading. That album was on heavy rotation at all the parties when I was in college in the 90s at Texas State. It was Southwest Texas State at the time, San Marcos. All the fraternity parties, they were blasting that album. I'm drinking coffee from one of my Redbubble mugs. I have over 2,400 designs uploaded to Redbubble. The link's in every box. You can get my designs on coffee mugs, pet blankets, clocks, phone cases, etc. Now, as I said, for piles one and two, it could be that no one is currently balls deep in love with you. Just keeping it real. Heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. Three of Wands, Tres de Bastos, Seven of Cups, Eight of the Copas, Three of Pentacles, Tres de Oros, Two Threes, Sandwiching a Seven, Seven is Pisces, Three is Sagittarius. What I've been doing lately is putting the Folgers, the black coffee, in a mug. And then squirting great value ready whip in. And it's quite bueno. It's quite good, I must say. Cosmic Tarot. That would be funny if all four piles were no one's currently balls deep in love with you. Okay, Prince of Pain, I'm about to sneeze.
Bless me. Principe de Oros, the Prince of Pentacles. Rena de Bastos, Queen of Wands. Got the Espadas, Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros, Queen of Swords, Reina de Espadas, and Eight of Pentacles, Ocho de Oros. Okay, I wouldn't say that anyone's currently balls deep in love with you, but it looks like more than a few people have a crush on you at this time. This is the pile of the influencer, the model, the actress, the rock star, you could have a YouTube channel or YouTube channels. You're getting a lot of attention. A lot of people are smitten with you. So the song I'm hearing is Crush with Eyeliner by R.E.M. More than a few people are smitten with you. I feel like you're the queen of wands, okay? the most charismatic and sexually appealing of all the queens. Um, so I'll call out, as ridiculous as it may sound, I'll call out a few people who could currently be crushing on you, okay? Um, and although we have three queens, you can't really attach gender to tarot. So it's just energy. And the rubric that I use to decipher the energy is Western astrology and numerology is referenced in Linda Goodman's Star Signs, a book that I've been referring to or referencing for a while now. I mean, I read the book when I was a teenager in the 80s. Any damn way. Okay. One person who is currently smitten with you they have you on a pedestal is someone who is a really intense introvert. They work a lot. They're socially awkward. They're really good with money. They're not so great with social interactions. This person who has a crush on you, this person who's smitten with you, they could have Sun in Virgo, Leo rising, Moon in Capricorn. And I'm seeing an R name. Rod. Is anyone named Rod anymore? I don't know. It's not as common as it used to be. Rod, um, Randy, Rick, uh, Rubio, Rubalcaba, last name. <clears throat> Ram could be an Aries. Ram. They could drive a Dodge Ram pickup truck. Another person who's currently entranced by you, they're infatuated, they could have Sun and Aquarius, Pisces rising, Moon and Capricorn. I need to blow my nose. Uh, and then there could be someone who's a few years younger And they absolutely have you on a pedestal. And they have a mix of air and earth in their chart. So they could have Sun and Taurus, Aquarius rising, Moon and Capricorn. But people who are introverted, socially awkward, they admire you because you're a balls-to-the-wall extrovert. You're not scared to express yourself. You may express yourself to excess. You talk a lot. You express a lot. And they're very enamored. They're very in awe of how you roll, how you show your colors. And you can't be kept down by trolls, by haters. You keep on rocking out with your cock out. And that's very admirable. <laughs> I'm having fun with this, so, yeah. Um, you tell it like it is. You're a truth teller. And people like that. Okay. Uh, 
you may go through phases, you know, one day your hair is pink, the next day you don't have any hair. You shave your head. I'm thinking of myself. I've never had pink hair, but I've worn various Party City wigs on my channels for years here and other channels, Extra Basic Tarot, whatever. And now I don't have any hair, but uh, very little. You could have a few tattoos. You're just, you're really colorful. You're colorful and you're visible and you're getting a lot of attention. That is what I see for pile three. Hope that helps. I'm always available. Oh, I didn't call it a possible astral combo for those who chose pile three. If you chose pile three, you could have Sun and Sagittarius, Gemini Rising, Moon and Capricorn, but you're a badass. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quathro, Pile 4, the yeah, yeah, yes, if you were to tell, here's your reading. Now, it's like I said, for the first three piles, and so far, it's been no one. No one is currently balls deep in love with anyone. Uh, it could be that no one is currently balls deep in love with you. And that's okay, as long as you're balls deep in love with yourself. heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. Page of Cups, Soda de Copas, the Four of Pentacles, Quatro de Oros, the Nine of Swords, maybe the Espadas. Cosmic Tarot. Oh, I just now noticed. <laughs> That's cool. He has these dollars and they have pinnacles on them. These dollar bills with pinnacles. Yeah, I love this deck. It's just full of surprises. Those the espadas, two of swords, Ray of Copas, King of Cups, El Loco, the Fool. Shameless plug, I'm drinking coffee from one of my Redbubble mugs. I have over 2,400 designs uploaded to Redbubble. The link is in every box. You can get my designs on pet blankets, mugs, leggings, clocks, phone cases, wall art, stickers, greeting cards, duffel bags, gym bags, backpacks, etc., Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Diamonds, Eight of Oros. Oh, the Jack of Clubs, the Knight of Wands, Goodbye, De Bastos. This is the first pile where we have the two signifiers together. Three of Hearts, Three of Cups, Three of Copas. Now, I would say you go through phases with this person. I don't know if they're currently balls deep in love with you, but I'm seeing a relationship here. You know, in any relationship, you're not going to always be balls deep in love with the person you're with. You go through phases, especially if you've been together for years. Just being realistic, you know. So, yeah, I'm seeing a relationship for Pile 4. Could be a bit of an age gap. I feel like you're the younger person. I feel like you're the Knight of Wands. And the person who is with you in this relationship, they are the King of Cups. So, um. You could be going through a bit of a rough patch in the relationship, but you're connected, okay? You're both committed to each other. You both prioritize this relationship. So there is love here. You could have a child together, a child, children. Um, this person may be going through it. They may be really stressed. They may be struggling with a diagnosis right now. They could be in the depths of depression, struggling with anxiety, it's common. These transits are kicking a lot of asses. They're sure kicking mine. Um, 
So who is this person? This person you're in a relationship with. Usual caveat, I'm reading for a global audience. To pick a card, it's not a personal reading. So if you're not in a relationship, probably pick another pile. This person you're in a relationship with, they could have Sun and Scorpio, Taurus rising, Moon and Aquarius. You could have Sun and Aries, Cancer rising, Moon and Taurus. These are just possibilities. But yeah, I'm seeing a relationship. Things are not that great between the two of you right now, but I feel like at the very least you're living together. If you're not married, you're living together. And you've just known each other for years and you're not in that first phase of falling in love where you have stars in your eyes but you're both committed to this relationship i don't see any cheating or anything like that <clears throat> i'm not really seeing red flags i'm just seeing reality you know a real relationship um maybe it's time for the two of you to take a trip somewhere just get away and rekindle the spark Yeah, that's what I see for Pile 4, and that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.